please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Welcome back. The pre-open rates uh, should start soon. The rupee has uh, started stronger, uh, comfortably below the 65 mark now or above the 65 mark actually if you want to put it that way. So uh, that scare clearly has uh, virtually disappeared and uh, we are actually again retesting that day's, uh, uh, that uh, Moody's day uh, opening on the currency. As far as uh, the market is concerned, if you look at the first rate on the Nifty, it's up about 41 points but that should settle because there are a couple of free rates like ITC which will never open 7% higher of course. Some believable rates include HDFC Bank, HDFC, Kota. Kota has been a strong stock so that's something to watch out for. Pharma has been doing well for the last couple of days so Aurobindo looks like having a good start. Uh, the Dr. Reddy's is down a bit, Tata Motors is down a bit. Infosys, uh, it had a bit of a rally uh, just three days back but uh, ever since that there's been no follow through so Infosys is the one which is looking slightly weak. Uh, and all these uh, FMCG names for starters at least are doing well. Okay, let's just pull up the rate on uh, EVR. Now it's corrected because initially it was looking like a bigger cut. Now it seems okay. Now it's kind of stabilized. Uh, yeah, that's what I saw as well. But once that screen refreshes, it should not be a 10% downtick <coughs> on PVR. There we go. Now, now it has streamlined. Anyway, let's move to the other active pockets. So some of the leather stocks seem quite excited because of this leather package that it's on its way. Liberty, Mirza. Super house leather, these are stocks on the upside. Uh, then because of the uh, spectrum uh, norms where uh, additional holdings might be allowed, that's working well for the likes of Idea Cellular and Arcom. Uh, CESC, there's a positive note by uh, one of the brokerages with a 30-35% upside on the target price. So that's a stock holding out in positive territory as well. Uh, that's what it looks like. Anything else, Lada, that you're looking at? Well, uh, no, I, I was just wanting to ask Mr. Tulsian if... Uh, uh, the telecom uh, spectrum increase, increasing the cap from 25% to 35% and as well having an overall cap uh, raised to 50%. Uh, are, if these recommendations from the telecom regulator are indeed passed as rules, uh, do they make these stocks attractive, Mr. Tulsiya? No, no, Lata, actually this is table because the kind of the three and four, you know, you have to increase the you know, they just can't make a cap of loading way of consolidating. All right. Uh, Mr. Tulsa, I think we have a problem uh, with <coughs> that line. Uh, we will uh, just get back and patch that line. The uh, audio is uh, breaking. We'll uh, just take a look uh, once again at the way the markets have opened uh, a s shade of green, but uh, we have to let the market settle down. Let me invite uh, Vinod Sharma of HDFC Securities to speak with us on how he would trade today. Uh, good morning, uh, Vinod. The, what's the, is there a trade on the Nifty or would you straight away go into stocks? Uh, good morning, Lata. I think the trade on the Nifty is on the upside. I don't see a, a, any dip 20 points d uh, below the okay. yesterday's level needs to be bought into and I don't think the market will give you that opportunity. Okay. Having said that, I think there is more money to be made in, in individual stocks mm -hmm. where there is a clear trend abo uh, thereabout and I think when we have stocks where you can get almost 50% returns in the premium, why to look at the Nifty, which, which isn't going to go uh, okay. too way far. Okay, we know. Good morning. Yes, in fact, in just about uh, six days now for this uh, expiry, so options will give you uh, great value. So let's start mm -hmm. with some stocks. You have a couple of product <coughs> group stocks. Yes, as usual, uh, we we prefer to stay with um, uh, good companies uh, where there is good amount of visibility, and I think there is a cleaning up going up. Uh, in the Tata Group companies in terms of consolidation and uh, assets, um, um, cash coming back to the company's books. So in case of Titan, I'm buying the A20 call at around 17 rupees, stop loss at 13 and a target of 25. Uh, this has seen a 29% OI added and our th the stock price is up almost 30% in the current series. So I think the ongoing trend in the stock will continue. In case of another Tata company, Tata Alexi, I'm buying the 950 call at around 21, stop loss at 15, a target of around 35. The idea here again is 37% OI being added, stock is up 10%. Although yesterday uh, the OI was pruned and no matching interest change, no change in the price, it remained as it is. I think this the, today is the time to buy that stock and hold on till the settlement, where I think there will be possible to get almost 50% uh, plus returns in the premium. Okay. 
Well, uh, we have reconnected with Mr. Tulsian. Uh, uh, Mr. Tulsian, before we let you go, wanted your view on telecom. We couldn't quite hear you. You don't think that this raising of caps is good for uh, uh, the uh, listed telcos? No, not at all. Because if you really see the consolidation happening and if you have only three or four players you know, remaining in the fray, then TRA have to increase the threshold to from 25%. Because the way, suppose, take for instance, Idea Vodafone is merging, so obviously the stake or the, the, the effective stake will increase of the, of the spectrum held by each company. So I don't think that this is, this is just a consequential increase having given by TRA, and I don't think that this will have any kind of positive impact. Okay, sir. We'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Mr. Tulsia. Okay, so uh, I do see a couple of uh, additional picks that uh, Vinod has. Uh, in fact, Vinod, uh, some of our technical experts were also quite bullish on tyre stocks. And I see SEAT has made it to your list as well. Yes, uh, the stock was up 4% and in the current series it is up 9%, coupled with the fact that OI is up 12%. So I'm buying the 1850 call at around 40 rupees, stop loss at 30 and a target around 65, which means more than 50% return possibility in the premium itself. And another stock which we very saw huge volumes because of block deals happening and that is Kajaria. It is the industry leader where we saw open interest being built to the extent of 63% yesterday and 121% in the overall series and whatever have, most of that OI has been added yesterday. So I suggest, I think that the stock is now up for a revival. It has been languishing for a while. So I'm buying the 720 call at 17 stop loss at 10 and target of around 30. Okay, but NCC is still on 10% circuit, FNO stock, so I don't know if it will have a 10% start, but okay, but 8.5% start, that's a large order for NCC, of course, uh, on the result state corrected to 94, and from that day, it's just been a stunning move on NCC. But Ashwini, thoughts here, uh, for, do you track it? See, yesterday infrastructure did very well and uh, Sadbhav, Simplex, etc. And that is a theme which is likely to now pick up. All of these stocks are coming out of large bases. So NCC, my sense is 130, 135 uh, should come in over a period of time. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Yes Bank is again now uh, at the top of the table. Uh, Ashwini, any uh, chart check on Yes Bank? Uh, good to go long? It has bottomed out and uh, people who can hold on for next two, three months. And this is a time to get into Yes Bank. But uh, overall, whether it will show follow through today, uh, that I'm not too sure about uh, till I know where the market is going to open. Okay. Um, Vinod, I think this is Bajaj Auto. You've not yes. covered Bajaj yeah, Auto. That's yeah. a buy? Yeah, th th that's okay. a buy. Uh, Bajaj Auto has started moving only only yesterday. 3% uh, OI has been added, and that OI was added only yesterday. The stock was up 2%, and in the series, it hasn't done anything so far. So I'm buying the 3,300 call at around 49, stop loss at 30, and a target of around 85. All right. Well, uh, just a word on how the markets are opening. At this point in time, it's just a quarter percent gain. Uh, the mid-caps are just a bit ahead. Uh, it's not looking like it's a huge opening. It's once again stuck at the 10,350? Oh, yes, it has. 10,350, which would be actually lower than yesterday's high. But it's been an important resistance mark for the for the Nifty. So, uh, Ashwini, is your base case still that uh, today as well we could see resistance at around this 10,350, 360 on the Nifty? What, what would be a larger trade here? go till yesterday's high mm. and then fail to cross it. Okay. So that way, uh, this sort of open, I don't think uh, will lead you to break that range. Yeah. So what you need to do is, you know, trade the boundaries. Uh, you know, uh, basically, if you have a, another 30 point rally to say 10,380 on the Nifty futures and you may get there at the open, that would be a nice shorting point. Similarly, on the bank Nifty, you know, anything above 25,900, uh, on the bank nifty futures should lead you to go short okay and uh, what about your 910 call ashwini see mid cap real estate has done very well so uh, obroy realty that is a buy of the stop of 485 target of 510 okay by the way a couple of uh, future group stocks seem excited at least in the pre open yesterday there was a big 
sort of uh, event and future 3.0 was unveiled. They're talking about 10,000 stores by 2022. So let's see if that really plays out in actual trading. Future enterprises, future retail, most of those stocks uh, are holding out. Matesh, any thoughts on future group? Any trades whatsoever? No, they've not been really tracking the stocks over there. So right now I don't have an idea. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, Sudarshan, so any of the FMCG stocks uh, today, of course, because of uh, the enforced price cuts, they would be on uh, the public gaze. The, uh, Mangalam's interpretation was that uh, the lower prices would actually increase volumes. But what are the charts saying? Say the Dabbers, uh, well, the, the Imamis. Yeah. Yes, the charts say we should be buying them. Britannia was in my buy list and Hind Unilever again is ready for lifetime new highs. So broadly, the entire sector is ripe for a momentum buy. Okay. And uh, uh, finally, I wanted to ask you all about the insurance stocks as well. HDFC, Standard Life Insurance uh, Performance. Uh, uh, will it have a benign impact even on SBI Life and ICICI Pro? Uh, Mitesh, uh, have you tracked those two stocks? Uh, see, I have an ICSA Pro, something which I think, you know, and that's the one which has got some more trading history. Uh, it's trying to give a reversal on the lower side. If the stock starts getting past 400, 500, 400, 600 and starts closing about that, then I think you could be in for a trading rally over there with targets in excess of 435, 440. Uh, Ashwini, the pullback on Reliance continues. I'm looking at the price now, 937 in the pre-open. Um, it's come off a long way, I mean, from that 6% decline that we saw in one, one week alone. What's the trade on RIL now? Well, if you got in at 900, hold on. I don't think getting in right now will give you great upside. But uh, this is one of the outperformers, so all declines should be used to buy. Uh, Ashwini, I don't know if you've discussed idea, but uh, big move on that one. And it, it's done that in the past, closer to expiries. Uh, but uh, this, this move about 100, do you think it's sustainable? See, both Bharti and Idea corrected after their large moves. I think as long as Idea stays above 90, it could get back towards 110, 115. Okay. okay. Um, uh, Vinod, I just had a follow-on question for you uh, with respect to pharma, this huge move that we saw yesterday. Of course, in the pre-open, it seems Dr. Reddy's could correct some of that. Um, what is the FNO side of the market now telling you? And do you have any specific trades you'd like to go with? Yeah, I don't have the actual figures with me, but my analyst was de uh, definitely telling me that Sun Pharma is a stock that can be bought from the derivatives angle, all put together, so you can buy the nearest call. Obviously, we have a stop loss, and you can expect the premium to, to return on premium to be around 20% in this rest of the series. Okay. Uh, well, uh, it, the order that NCC won was along with BGR Energy. Uh, I don't know if uh, these stocks are, uh, ta uh, you know, charted much. Uh, uh, Sudarshan, BGR Energy Systems? Well, I, I'm not tracking BGR Energy, okay. so you're right. No, no I can't That's imagine. Crazy. It's not a stock that we uh, speak about often. Ashwini, do you? Well, uh, BGR Energy, you know, it's uh, gone through a large decline. Now it's finding support around 126. So again, uh, you know, good levels to buy, keep a 120 type of stop and should expect uh, over a period of time, maybe 175, 180, the entire infra space, something is uh, shaking it up. So this is a time to get into infra for the second phase of the bull market. Uh, Ashwini, thoughts on Fortis? Uh, you know, it's getting a lot of bad press for, uh, you know, the, the recent dengue case uh, and the kind of billing, but uh, from the stock angle, how would you approach it? You know, in India, the customers should just thank their stars they are not getting beaten up. I mean, this has been happening. You, you go to any uh, specialty hospital, they'll bill you 40 lakhs and you'll come out dead from there. This is not the first story. So I don't think these things matter in this country. We have no value for human life. <laughs> well, value for the stock anyways, not going to be affected by this. See, it's already down in the dumps, you know, it's already at 130, which were, you know, uh, the lows. So, uh, it's a special situation, unless there is some acquisition or somebody comes in to buy, etc.